Welcome back to the channel everyone. Welcome to a new opening for a new release. Today I'm going to be taking a look at this special edition release for the Batman. Um, but we've got a little bit of talking to do before I actually open it. Um, for reasons that you'll come to see. So let's just get into it. Okay. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Um, if you're a returning viewer, welcome back. Either way, if you haven't yet pressed that um, subscribe button, please consider doing so, um, helping me grow the channel. Now, like I said, a little bit of talking before I open this because um, there's an elephant in the room, so to speak, for want of a better term. Now, this film here, I'd done a, um, I want to say a review. I'd done a chat a little while ago on how I hate this film even more second time around or something like that. Um, yes, and but I've changed my mind. I think it's the best Batman film ever. I haven't, no. I stand by what I said. No, I use the term hate in that for a reason because hate and love are two emotions that are intertwined. Um, now, Batman as a character is a character that I love and before collecting physical media, I collected comics, and I still collect comics today. Um, I have thousands upon thousands of comic books I have collected from the mid 80s up to present. Um, and that collection has just grown and grown and grown. And I have wealth of comic books. I have read Batman for years and years, on and off. Um, not so much more recently. Um, so anyway, so, so this Batman film here, um, I didn't really enjoy it on first viewing. Um, I liked it even less on a second viewing. Um, and it falls very low on my list of Batman films. Um, you might be asking me why and why I picked it up. I'll come into that. Um, so I won't go into details as to all my problems I have with the film, but there are a wealth of them. You can check them out in this video here. I'll link that in the description below. That may be of interest to you, it may not. So why did I pick this film up if I'm not a fan of it? Well, it's not my least favorite Batman film. Um, that goes to Batman Forever. Yes, Batman Forever I would rank below Batman and Robin. That film that is universally hated by all. Yeah, this falls below Batman Forever for me. Um, it's, it's a very good film. It's a very well made film. It's just not a good Batman film. Now Batman is made, it was primarily made for children. It was, that's what Batman is. Uh, and this film stripped away anything like that. And we've got to a point where even, uh, who directed this? Was it Matt Reeves, was it? Or who was it? Or Gareth Edwards, I don't know. They're both interchangeable. Um, I think it was Matt Reeves. Yeah, it was Matt Reeves. Um, I think he watched the Lego Batman too much and found the, the embrace the darkness part um, a bit too literal. Um, yes. Can you imagine taking your kids to see this film? This film is not open to children. It's rate 15 for Christ's sake. I know Tim Burton's was, but there's nothing in this film that a child could watch and like. And this is the problem. Batman was essentially made for children. That's what the character's in a comic book for Christ's sake. Comic books today are still, they're made for younger readers. That's why you have a mature label within, within, within DC. Um, the darkness that people have embraced within Batman didn't come around until, until the mid 80s. And for, for me, that didn't feel too long ago. Um, I know that it is quite a long go, time ago. It's about 40 years, which is a long time. Um, but Batman before that, he was light. He was, you know, he wasn't as dark. And you've gone to a point where you've got this darkness. Now, uh, the question I have for you is where do you go after this trilogy of films or whatever they do? Are you happy when they step back into a lighter tone? Is that, does that please you? Would that make you happy to go back to a lighter tone of Batman or not? Because you've got nowhere else to go that's darker. You've backed yourself into a corner now. There we go. Anyway, that's enough rambling. But if you want to check that video out, please feel free to do so. I bought this because being a comic book collector, I do get every single film that is based on a comic book property. Case in point. 
yeah, so I'll pick up any film that's based on a comic book property, regardless of my thoughts on it. Um, I am actually doing a video series at the moment where I'm looking at these older comic book movies that are long forgotten and before the MCU and DCEU, and, and I'm really enjoying myself. These are films that I probably wouldn't have ever revisited if I wasn't doing this comic book series that I'm doing, and I'm having a lot of fun with it, and I'm having a lot of fun revisiting these films and finding some gems within there, even though they're bad films. And you never know, maybe when the sequel comes out, I'll enjoy the sequel of this more and then have a little bit more respect for this film than what I do. Anyway, let's get on with the opening. Um, I've been rambling long enough. I'm going to take a look at this edition of The Batman from HMV. Okay, so here we can see in front of us, so here in front of us we can see the box and um, it has still got its plastic wrapping on it. It has got a J card there and the HMV sticker. Now, it is a thick box like so, which is fabulous. Um, I didn't really know what to expect from this. I was expecting a thinner box with, um, with the film in, to be honest. A box that is not much thicker than the, the, the steel book itself. So it's a very nice surprise to see that this came in a nice, thick collector's edition box like this. And there's your back, obviously your 4K and all that sort of stuff info there. Over two hours of special features on the Blu-ray. Um, yeah, there's, there's a wealth of stuff on here. So let's get it open and let's take a look. And I'll give you my appraisal of this, um, of this edition. So first thing I notice is a nice glossy, glossy box, which is hidden by the, the plastic wrap. So let's take the J card off of here. And there we go. Now, I know there's a reflection there. Um, so obviously what you can see is the silhouette of the Batman sort of lit up by a red light, which actually forms the question mark. And that's a very nice design. I, I did like that, that is very striking. Stands out for the Riddler with a title there. Um, the side is like so, as you could see just before. And the back has this Bat logo design on it with question mark in it, but almost in like a sight. Um, so the Riddler's got Batman in his sights, and then you have some sort of mumbo jumbo along the bottom there with question marks and, and nonsense like that. Um, a little bit of sticky glue there still. Get rid of that. So let's take a look at the interior. Well, uh, let's finish the box off first. So there's the box. As you can see, it's a nice sturdy, sturdy box, which is really nice. You know, I can't fault that at all. Now, first up is the steel book itself. Again, with that same question mark design on it, which does stand out. I'm not gonna deny that. There's the side and the back, which is the same as on the box. Open it up. Right, let's have a look at the front and back together first. So there we go, front and back together in one. Nice. And on the interior, a little advert for other Batman releases that are coming out that I'm going to avoid. Black Adam, Aquaman 2, the Flash film, and Super Pets there, all coming to us. Now, as you can see, it's a three disc edition. This black disc here is the 4K. Then you have the Blu-ray on the standard blue release. And then you have a special features disc, which is on this sort of gray color. And inside, to the Batman written inside there. Um, so yeah, that's nice. So I shall put the, nope, Blu-ray will go there. I'll stick the 4K in that bit there. And the Batman special features disc can go there with that inside. There we go. Now, also, what you get is this lovely box, lovely um, envelope, square bound box type thing here with Batman on the side there. And on the back to the Batman there. Now, inside here, we shall open it up and take a gander. If I can get it out. Okay, we get some art cards. 
Now on the back of the art cards, they are all plain and there are four of them. And a poster, which we'll look at when I have adjusted the camera. So art card number one is the Not Riddler. Because he looks nothing like the comic book counterpart of the Riddler. He could be a completely new character. I changed the name and it's Operandus Modi. And there you go. Then we have the Penguin, played by Colin Farrell. Who, let's be honest, anyone could have played the part. Um, it was a bit of stunt casting. Oh, Colin Farrell's in a Batman film playing the Penguin. Oh, you know, he don't look nothing like the Penguin. No, he's in heavy makeup. Anyone could have done that. Um, and then we have Zoe Kravitz, as that is her name, isn't it? As the Catwoman. Um, I didn't mind her in the film, but wholly undeveloped. And then we have the Batman himself. Um, probably one of my least favourite Batmans. I might rank Ralph Val Kilmer below him. Um, yep, I know, controversial. But there you go. Um, he doesn't have a gold thing in that, but it works quite nice there. Um, there we go. So there we go. Now let's... Have a look at this poster, shall we? Okay, so the poster that comes within this set is this here. So let's open it up. It looks to be about A3 size in... Yeah, it's A3 size poster. And that is the poster there. As you can see, lies, unmask the truth, the Batman. And like you saw, nothing on the back. So there we go. Okay, yeah, so as editions go, this is very nice. It is a very nice edition. Um, I can't fault it. Um, lovely box, lovely artwork. Some nice cards in there that look fabulous. Decent poster. And overall, a really nice package. Now, if you want my four thoughts on the 4K transfer, if you come back to the channel in three years' time, just before the sequel hits, then I might give it another watch. Yes. Um, like I said, I would revisit Batman and Robin before I revisit this. That's just how I feel. Now, I know that upsets some people. Immature people get upset because my thoughts on the film don't align with theirs. And thusly, they're going to have a fight because you don't like something that I like. So you're in the wrong, so I'm going to smash your face in. Um, you get that sort of... of mentality amongst people. Now you've got to remember, art is subjective at the end of the day. And this is art. Um, we aren't going to agree on the same things. But there you go, that's an opening for The Batman. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one. Take care and goodbye.